Welcome back to K Movies Recap. Today I will show you 2021 USA sci fi action film titled Chaos Walking. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. 2257 AD, humanity has moved to another planet, New World, following an apparent attack by creatures called Spackle. They killed off all the women, and all the surviving men are afflicted by noise, which causes all of their thoughts to be projected. Todd Hewitt, Tom Holland, is walking with his dog Manchi through the woods. He encounters large worm creatures called crawlers before coming across the local preacher, Aaron, David Oyelowo, who thinks Todd is weak for trying to hide his noise. Todd then goes into Prentice Town where he lives, and he has an encounter with a young man named Davy, Nick Jonas. After scaring Davy with his noise, Davy's father, Mayor Prentice, Mads Mickelson, shows up. He commends Todd for his use of noise and thinks he could be of use to him. Todd lives with adoptive fathers Ben, Demian Bychir, and Killian, Kurt Sutter. Ben is gentle with him but Todd butts heads with Killian. They learn through the noise that Prentice took notice of Todd, and they warn him about trusting the mayor. Up in space. A scout ship is hovering over the planet in an attempt to make contact with the first colony. As they send a shuttle down, it begins burning up as it enters the atmosphere and crashes near Prentice Town. The only survivor is a young woman named Viola Eid, Daisy Ridley. While helping his dads with work, Todd spots Viola near the shed and thinks she's a thief. He chases after her in the woods and comes across the ship's wreckage. He gets Prentice and the other men to come check it out. When he mentions that the thief did not project any noise, Prentice realizes this means they are in the presence of a woman. Todd sets out on his own to find her and encounters Viola again. He scares her off with his noise but continues to pursue. She eventually runs into Prentice, who brings her back into town with him. Prentice brings Viola into his home and questions her about the group she came from, which the others believe to be the second wave. He tells her about the exodus from Earth to New World and the ordeal with the noise and spackle. Prentice leaves Davy to watch Viola but to not speak to her. Davy picks up one of Viola's gadgets and accidentally sets off a spark, giving her a chance to escape. She hides from the men but overhears Prentice planning to ambush any other incoming scout ships. Viola hides in Todd's barn and is found by him and his dads after some of Prentice's men come looking for her. Although Todd wants to keep her safe there, Ben and Killian know it's too risky. They tell him about a place called Far Branch that would be safer for her. Prentice's men return with him to find Viola, but she starts up a motorcycle and escapes. In the chaos, Davy shoots and kills Killian, and Todd chases after Viola on a horse. Prentice forces Ben to join him and his men in pursuit of Todd and Viola. Todd catches up to Viola but ends up falling downhill with the horse, whose leg is broken and ends up getting put out of its misery. Todd tells Viola about the trip to Far Branch. And although hesitant, she agrees to join him and Manchi. She tells him about her mission, while he has trouble keeping his personal thoughts about her hidden. They encounter a spackle in the water, and while Todd attacks it, it doesn't appear threatening and Viola stops Todd from killing it. The two make it to Far Branch and meet their mayor, Hildy Black, Cynthia Avo. When the locals learn that Todd and Viola came from Prentice Town, they are met with scorn. Hildy gives them housing and utilities before learning about Viola's mission. She tells her that she can contact the main ship in a place called Haven. Viola later reads to Todd from his mother's journal. From what they learn, it is revealed that Prentice and Aaron turned the men against the women and had them, including Todd's mother, killed. Prentice and his men arrive in Far Branch, but Hildy and the townspeople refuse to allow them into the town. He sends Ben out to find Todd and get him to give up Viola. When it appears that Viola has come out willingly, it turns out to just be a projection from Ben's thoughts, having given Todd and Viola a chance to escape. They are chased to the river by Aaron, and they end up swept away by the current. Todd finds Viola safe but is forced to watch as Aaron coldly drowns Manchi in the river. Todd and Viola make it to Haven, where Todd is mourning Manchi. Viola comforts him and then arrive at the ruins of the old colony ship. They attempt to make contact with the other colonists, but Prentice and his men find them. Aaron goes in after Viola but starts to express his great remorse over killing all the women. He begs for death, and Viola uses one of her gadgets to set him on fire. Just as the signal is sent out, Prentice shoots Ben in front of Todd. He runs to Ben, who slips him a knife. 
Todd and Prentice fight until Todd runs away for cover. When Prentice finds him at the edge of the ship's ruins, Todd begins to project images of his mother and all the women. Prentice killed to call him a coward and overwhelm him. Viola emerges and attacks Prentice, who falls over the edge to his apparent death. The colony ship then appears in the sky, and all the Prentice town men flee, just as Todd passes out from his injuries. Todd wakes up on the colonist ship with Viola, and they get ready to meet the other colonists. Todd's noise makes it obvious he wants to kiss Viola, but she just smiles and continues walking. Kindly subscribe to our channel for more. Thank you.